All right, folks, welcome back to the Ocarina of Time 200 follower max randomizer <laughs> settings randomizer seed. I am, my goal, I want to finish the seed tonight. If I finish the seed tonight, we've got like three streams left of the year. I could potentially use that to do like a Majora's Mask uh, randomizer seed. That's, that's my current plan. We'll see how it goes. I only need one more item. I just need either the Fire Arrows or Din's Fire, and I believe that is it, and we can finish... Ganon's castle and the Ganondorf fight. However, because of how big the world is, I don't have don't really know where we're gonna find that, so. Here we go. We're looking for pyrotechnics. It's true. And that's exa exactly what I'm going to do first off, is I am going to head over and turn back into a child. Actually, wait, that's not the right song. Alright! Mobius Spyro 1 Toasty will be added to the song queue. And hey, oh, uh, I, I get it. Toasty. It's it's fun. It's funny because we're looking for fire. <laughs> I actually appreciate that. It's very fitting. Very funny. Hysterical. Hey, DX! Welcome! <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Okay, you said McDonald's, but because there was the space in there, I read that as MC Donald. And I'm just thinking of like, Ah, oh boy! <laughs> I love being the MC for this race! <laughs> Sugar Holiday Pie Mimic. Well, let me know how that turns out. And if you want, feel free to post a, a photo of how it turns out to the uh, the food section of the Discord. I would be very interested in that. <laughs> and I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Ooh! <laughs> and that you're not running into walls like Link is. <laughs> It's been a while since we've said hello to childhood. I probably should be back walking more. <laughs> I love how anytime we pull or, like, put back the Master Sword, it plays the game over music. It's like, oh, you're going to a different time period? Womp <laughs> womp. MC Ronald. Yes, the, the best of all MCs. Oh yeah, we got a big po. Let's drink it. Oh wait. We gotta go to the Spyrosol now. Toasty Spyro. Oh! First thing that came up! Here we go. Ooh! I like it! This is the last time we'll ever see random text? Probably! That is probably true. The fire barrier is dispelled, I wish. Actually, it is. Okay, that leads to Gerudo Fortress. As Young Link, we can't loop around and do anything there. Okay. Oh, that's right. Bottom of the well, and we can access it right here. Or whatever bottom of the well turned into. That's not the Psalm of Storms. I forgot I randomized the Psalm notes. Psalm of Storms. Ah, that's right. Oh, wait, no, okay. Left, right, A, left. That's not it. I'm predicting the well is going to be Deku Tree or Dodongo. Okay, I almost had it right. <laughs> the random fiends are funny, but it's also aggravating. Oh man. This song is lit! Get it? Because it's, it's toasty. Actually, let's see what the Guru Guru Man says. Hey, bro. Navi, come! <laughs> the windmill is spinning! Navi, come hither! I need you! Can we bring back... Can we bring back the word hither? 
It's a good one. Wow! You were right! It is the Forest Temple. Um, I don't think we can do this as Young Link. But we will try. Oh, and it's Master Quest Forest Temple. Great! This is the one that has the really long, annoying Song of Time block puzzle. We also don't have a sword. Oh boy, this is why I usually don't turn on Master Quest dungeons, but we're gonna make the most of it. Okay, that's... that's gonna be tricky to get through. It is interesting turning on, not every location is guaranteed to be reachable. Oh boy. I also don't remember where all the gold sculptures are in Master Quest. So this will be interesting. Yeah, the big block room will definitely lock us out for sure. Oh, that's just rude! Don't cross me. Is that just a dollar? It's five dollars, thank you. We really have no small keys for the Forest Temple, wow. Well, at least we know it's the Master Quest now. I got a rock. Ooh, Hornet's Theme! Okay, I will add that to the queue. But first, we have a date with Smorg. I assume it's Hornet's Theme from Hollow Knight. That was weird. I didn't even move, but it registered. Okay, there we go. Yay, a dollar. There again, you got free bullseyes. That's not really that impressive. <laughs> Will we beat the seed without getting a wallet upgrade and Zelda's lullaby? Let's see if we have enough money for this rip-off business growth. I do not! So I have these cool fire arrows for you. I feel like normally you can't beat the seed without Zelda's Lullaby, because, hang on. You need Zelda's Lullaby to beat Water Temple. You need it to beat Shadow Temple. Probably need it to beat Spirit Temple. I guess it's a bit of a toss up there. Oh, nope. Alright, here we go. Hornet theme hollow. Oh, there we go. Type in Hornet, and that's the first thing that pops up. Wait, I don't want to be here. 
Um, yes, but Bottom of the Well doesn't ever give you a medallion. I'm talking about the main dungeons that can give you medallions. We also never got letter Zelda's letter. Oh! oh! <laughs> Nathan Coey, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I appreciate it. Welcome to the party. Alright. I forget if we already checked this grotto or not. We did. And we clearly also destroyed the beehives there, too. Yeah, it's great, except when OBS is like, I don't want to connect anymore. McDonald's for dinner? Part of a balanced meal. <laughs> Very nice. I ate three quarters of a pizza for dinner. But to be fair, it was homemade, very, very thin crust, so... We're good. Hey, you know, some sometimes... Sometimes we need dinner for cheap, and McDonald's is always there for us. It's better that than Taco Bell. That is probably wise, Mobius. It says we got the light arrow, but it was just a recovery heart. Hey, I secret- I- not secretly, I like Arby's! And I don't want to hear any of you naysayers dissing it. I forget if I've played a Pona song yet. Fried rice, always nice. Uh, one of them didn't grow. Okay, um... I think it's the Sun Sultan that I did not play. Stinku, you don't have enough! Man, the frog's being stingy! Frog's being stingy! Oh, we gotta get the, uh, Skulchula that's in here. Now that we've got the Sun Song, we can start hunting the Skulchulas a lot easier. I bet it's gonna be a random Skulchula somewhere that's gonna have what we need. Spirit Temple. That's how I feel, too. I can't believe it, but I'm actually in a situation where I need money. That never happens in Ocarina of Time, because it's filled to the brim with money. But since I don't have wallet upgrades and everything is so freaking stinking expensive... I am in an unusual situation. I need to find a longer version of this song. Well, when we're strapped for cash, there's only one thing to do. Could have bombed the rock ring up there for 18 bucks. I got a better idea. Well, Ocarina of Time, money just doesn't do a whole lot normally. There we go. All right. Now, where do we want to head? 
head back to the Lost Woods? Alright. We're gonna buy that one business scrub stuff. Watch him take, like, all of my money. Oh boy. You know, we only need six more Sculptula tokens. Unless we have to get all 100 to complete the Rainbow Bridge. But I haven't even found Ganon's castle yet. Actually, no. Ganon's castle is, I think... Is it inaccessible? It might be. I found Hyrule Castle. And I, I want to say it was inaccessible as an adult. Because I'm pretty sure wherever Hyrule Castle is as a child, that's going to be Ganon's castle as an adult. And I'm pretty sure it was, like, beyond a crawl space somewhere. No, I'm talking about the actual Ganon's cat, like the outdoors area. Where the Rainbow Bridge actually is. Alright. Where do we still have business scrub grottos? Okay, we, oh, yeah. So we don't need to know about the windmill anymore. We've already done everything in there. We've gotten the adult shooting arcade done, so we can cross that off too. We don't need to know this. We've already been in the cow cage. Already been to the stable. Oh, wait, why did I equip Deku Nuts? I did not want to do that. There's a bunch of, like, key stuff we don't have, but we probably don't need. Like, the Kokiri Sword, the Megaton Hammer, Zelda's Lullaby. Stone of Agony. Alright, let's see what this leads to. A recovery heart. Goody! <laughs> Alright. Cross that boy off. Oh, I know where we're gonna go. Mon Mon Ranch at night should have some sculptulas we can grab now that we got the boomerang. I really don't like sculptula hunting. I got the 100 Sculptulas one time, and I'm like, yeah, that's not worth it. Alright! Hip Hop from Incredible Machines Free has been added to the queue. If only I could get a way for you to add this automatically, but... I gotta do it manually, otherwise people might be like, haha. I automatically put in this copyright song. Or put in, like, it's a YouTube video that's not actually music. Alright, it's Dampe the Gravekeeper with his small key, which leads to... Uh, the Water Temple. Hey! Temeroso, 1986, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining the party. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Man, the Ocarina of Time randomizers definitely bring out a lot of people. And I'm happy. Because I love playing these a lot. I've just always been like, eh. I don't know how entertaining these are to watch, but at least I have fun doing them. Okay, we already killed that guy. <laughs> oh, I remember when I added this. I when I added the request of music track. The, like the first request I think I ever got was for the Rick Roll, and I'm like, nope. For one, Rick Rolls are dumb. I don't know why they're still popular. And two, that actually might get my Twitch stream muted. Get out of here, Gue. Alright. Incredible Machine 3 Hip Hop. Here we go. I like birds in real life, but the Gueys can be a bit annoying at times. Don't worry, though. I got a recovery heart. Oh, wait a second. There's also the grotto here that's open that has beehives. I was gonna... And I was, about to be, I was gonna come back as an adult. This grotto doesn't exist as an adult for some reason. But I got the boomerang, which means I can destroy the... Uh, I can destroy the beehives with the boomerang. Any guesses where the fire is going to be? Alright, a Deku Nut. Cool. And a Recovery Heart. There are so many dang Recovery Hearts. Which makes sense. There are so many pots in this game. Well, Gerudo Valley has some Sculptulas that we can get now. This song's a bop. Okay, well there's a couple of other grottos we can go to. Link is actually just, like, amassing the ultimate Get Psyched playlist for going on his adventure. Occasionally, whenever he's pausing, he's just, like, scrolling through his playlist, being like, Yep, this one. Oh, whoops. Okay, that was kind of cool. Alright, this should also have some more beehives in it, I believe. Oh no, no, that's right. Oh, there's lots of pots in that grotto. Yay. I forgot. Because so I don't ever go into this grotto normally. Oh good, we got a bundle of arrows. I'm so happy. Yay. Spirit Temple. Okay, that didn't have anything. Alright. Recovery heart. Bombs. Cool. I like a refill on that. That's one of those things. I've I've come across a couple of music tracks where I'm just like, this would be the best as a Lemmings track. But I just have no interest in making Lemmings levels anymore. <laughs> so if people are looking to make a pack that has, like, repeating music, 
and you're looking for some, some suggestions, you let me know, because I've got, I've got a couple. Alright. Bomb Grotto is off the list now. We also completed the Lon Lon Ranch Grotto, so that's off the list too. At this point, we just got a bunch of... bunch of great fairy fountains, pretty much. Oh, wait! Okay, I can't remember if I've done this yet or not, but... The Stone of Agony Grotto here, at, near the lake, has one business scrub that I wrote down. I, for, I think I crossed it off, but maybe not. There's like an awesome trance remix of Brahms's first Hungarian march that I'm like, this would be perfect as Lemmings music. Alright, let's see if I just forgot to uh, mark this off or not. Okay, yeah. I thought I had gotten that. I just forgot to mark it off. Mm. Oh, I already got those as well. Okay, at this point... I can't go to the cow grotto with all the cobwebs, because I still can't burn anything. I think I got... I think I went to the gravestone back at Lake Kylie as well. Might have to double-check that, though. I haven't had to write anything new down in my notebook in a while. Yeah, so there's going to be a Sculptula that appears here. That's not it. Wait, no. Wait, that's not it either. I I hate writing stuff down in a notebook for games, but I do it if it's necessary. All right, little Sculptula bro, what you got? A Sculptula token. I'll take it. Lake Hylia has some gold Sculptulas to grab as well. I I get that. I'm pretty sure we already did this. Yeah, I already did this. You like you like it? Not really. Take a swan dive. I probably would have done better at Hollow Knight if I had written stuff down. But of course I also fell into the trap of A, I don't want to write stuff down, it takes the fun out of it. And also I'm like, if I want to remember, I stream it. I can look back at my footage, but I never ever do. I have done bugs in most of the dirt patches. I have not put bugs in the dirt patches at Desert Colossus or Death Mountain Crater, because I can't reach those. I haven't put it in uh, Zora's River, because there is no bug that comes out of there. 
And there may have been one other location that I haven't... Um, oh, it might be the graveyard that I haven't put bugs in yet. I gotta go back to the graveyard anyways. <laughs> if only. We still have not found a single Ocarina song that is fewer than the maximum eight notes. Wait, what? Um, okay, a super fairy just appeared. I don't know why. A fairy? Small key to where? Small key to the spirit temple. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 accurate. Man, I love memes. I could go back to the Spirit Temple. That may not be a bad idea. I got a bunch of keys to it now. And I have the long shot. Here you are. Boy. A stick! Is it just one? Yes. Calder laughs at me from the distance. So I can't remember if I went back here to buy out the last business scrub, but I'm gonna double check. Because I have not been as diligent as crossing things off on my notebook. As I should be. Firelink Shrine, Dark Souls. Alright, that will be added to the queue. Oh, wait. Okay. So this is not even a business scrub grotto. It's a beehive grotto. Alright, I think this is new stuff. That didn't even have anything. Huh. Hey, Dire Fox! Welcome! The rando is quite a thing, because I turned on every possible random setting. Which means even things like the miscellaneous pots and crates have items in them. So, it's taken a long time, and I have to check everything. But it's fun! <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> yes, I have pot sanity on, crate sanity on, beehive sanity, text sanity... <laughs> Gold Sculptulas, small keys, everything. Also, how is it that we turned on a random amount of key rings and the only key ring we got was for Ganon's castle? I would like to know that. Also, how do I get back to the market? Oh, that's right, I gotta go for Zora's Domain. Okay, let's Actually, it's probably fastest to just do a death warp, or a save warp. Oh. Um, I mean, my last week and a half has been fine. I'm trying to wrap stuff up at work, while simultaneously applying to new jobs. Which is not going as well as I would have hoped for. But hey. All in all, I can't really complain. I forget where Lon Lon Ranch takes us, so we're gonna head down here. Actually, I think Lon Lon Ranch takes us to the marketplace. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right, it takes us over into the Temple of Time area. Okay. Yeah, and Entrance Randomizer is also fun. Okay, Firelink Shrine. Hey, it's the first one that pops up. Okay, maybe not ten hours, but... I don't, I don't want people getting carried away. 
Yep, yep. <laughs> you you heard that right. Oh, well, that's right, yeah. And Mr. McBro pushes me out. Wait a second. I need to check that as an adult. I've never been in there as an adult, and that's a whole shop. That could have up to four new things. Alright. Where's the graveyard? Graveyard's here. Alright. That's the wrong... S I swear I'm good at this game. <laughs> I have I have literally done everything in Ganon's castle except I can't dispel the forest barrier until I can light something on fire. Because it's Master Quest. <laughs> no, hey now, I... It's not... Having the job is bad, it's looking for the job that's bad. What is it gonna recovery heart? Lovely. What's in the Arden marked grave again? Yeah, I literally as soon as I can light stuff on fire, then I'm good. Oh that's right, it's the Oh, it's the grotto where I have to light stuff on fire. Too bad. I don't have bugs. Actually, I might have given bugs in the uh, graveyard soil patch, but I can't remember. Luckily, we got bugs conveniently right here. Bugs just love hiding under that one rock. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm looking for a job more in line with what I want to do as a career. Because I'm in software, but right now I'm working with software requirements on automotive, and I don't really like doing that. I only really took the job because it was the only one that offered it to me, and I'm looking more to get into application development with coding, and it's harder than you might think. Okay, I already put bugs in there. Alright. Uh, yes, RS, I have checked that grotto. Alright. So now we can destroy the beehives in here. <laughs> and we've got Womp's Fortress to cheer us on. 20 bucks! And... Ooh! That is not a small key, that's a big boy key. And that was the, the big boy key for the fire temple. So if we find the fire temple, we can immediately fight Volvagia. But I'm pretty sure Fire Temple is in the vanilla location. That, or it's where the Shadow Temple is. Oh, well, I'm not doing the coding. I'm doing the requirements telling people what to code. Which is a really bad move, because, um... I don't know anything about cars. I've just kind of... I've been weaning it for the last four years, pretty much. <laughs> I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have told you that. Yeah. I want to do coding for, like, smaller scale applications. Which is something that I actually did as an internship, and I really liked it. But I'm looking to get into Python coding, because I've been using it casually for the last ten years, and I love it. But the problem is... Companies don't care if you've been using it casually on your own projects for 10 years. They're like, you don't have professional experience, we don't care. I'm just like, G give me a chance. Please. <laughs> but no. I can't even get an interview. They're just like, all of your work experience is in something different, so I don't think you'd be a good fit. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to change career paths, duh. I literally will even take a pay cut. I'm okay with that. I just want to do something better, but yeah. Uh, no, enough about my problems. Sorry. It's, it's just 
a bit frustrating. <laughs> I love how you said when. Not if, when. It's like you've already got this figured out. <laughs> You know, Mobius, I've I've had I've had my suspicions for a while that you had t you have ties to the mafia. Bosses are random, yes. Oh yeah, and also, all of the new- so you guys might not know, but all of the new stuff, like all the new features that are going into like the new cars, I'm just like, this is a terrible idea, do not put this in cars. Nope, they want it in cars, I'm like, I'm never buying a car with that. Like, there's a feature where it's like, oh, do you as a human have your foot, not even necessarily pressing, but just on the gas and the brake pedal at the same time? Oh, then we're taking control of the car from you. I'm like... How is that a good idea? But that's coming to the future! I have seen the requirements for it. I, I've always said, like, I own a... I'm not even an old car. Not, It's not even an old car. It's like a 2015 model. It's really tiny. And even that, I'm like, there's too many features for it. Like, I don't even like the voice command. I don't use it. Plus, it's broken. Oh, where was I even gonna go? Oh, that's right. Basically, I just want the car to have air conditioning, heating, and to get from point A to point B. That's what I want. Cruise control is a plus, but not needed. I've always joked, I, I, I kind of want the Donald Duck car, which is, it's like a really basic car with great mileage, it's very simple, you can take it apart, clean the whole thing, fix all the parts on your own, and there you go. <laughs> no fancy features, very cheap. <laughs> I do not have a stick shift. Have never driven one. My family used to have a stick shift, but it died before I got my license. See, Remote Start is one of those new fancy features that could be good. Here's the thing, though. Remember, folks... The more your car goes online and has software, the easier it is for hackers to get control of your car. There's a reason why people who specialize in software do not have a lot of the newfangled software. Like, the joke is like, the people who are like the tech moguls, who, like, just love all the stuff for the future. They have, like, all the latest technology, and then the software guys that actually code it have, like, mechanical locks on their house, nothing connected to the internet at their home. Like, that should tell you something. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this stream has become Artie scares everybody with what the future of holds for automotive. It's coming, and you can't stop it! All right, <laughs> Gelato Beach <laughs> for <laughs> Spirit Temple. I will add that to the queue. All right, I freaking hate Bemos. They are like my least favorite enemy. Speaking of my least favorite enemy. <laughs> K 
Give me a car like Putt Putt. That's what I want. Alright, I forget exactly where we need to move to make this guy die. There we go. No? This is not even Master Quest. This dungeon is not Master Quest. Loving it! Yeah, Anubis is a fun enemy. Wait! Oh, pfft. Um, wait, that is a keyring for a dungeon. Wait, which dungeon is that a keyring for? Oh, oh, it's for Forest Temple! Okay, okay, there are two dungeons that have the keyrings. I mean, I still can't do a lot in the Forest Temple, because Young Link only. Okay, guys, I'm actually, for the first time, gonna solve this puzzle as intended. I feel dirty just doing that. Alright, another token. Alright. We don't even have big Goron sword. We just have a broken giant's knife. Oh, okay, hang on. Before we fight the, uh, the Iron Knuckle, so first off, if we get the camera just right, there's a very creepy surprise. Alright. More importantly, though, Gelato Beach. Actually, hmm. There is. I can't remember exactly the angle you need to get, but. Okay, if there's a way you can zoom in through their heads, and it's kind of creepy. Oh, okay, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Alright, that's not the best angle, but... There's a Gerudo's head in there. And the reason there's a the reason that there's a Gerudo's head in there is because they had to model it for the the big iron knuckle at the end because the big iron knuckle at the end is Naburu, who is a Gerudo, and I think they just left it in all the models. Ouch. There's an a there's a camera angle you can get where you can see their full face and their eyes, and it's really creepy. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Alright, so this is the upper hand. Recovery heart! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what? Boy! Okay, why does the Gelato Beach music actually kind of groove with the shot with the Spirit Temple? It gives it a very different feel, but like I feel like it's not super out of place. Also, there's new stuff up here. Only a recovery heart and a blue ruby, but eh, whatever. I don't know why there's a water temple platform up here, but there is. 
No dissolve this vault by means we can't get up there. Oh, and the spirit temple is like the one temple where we don't have a boss key for it. Oh, hey! We got another Sculptula token. <laughs> it's not actually the Shadow Temple boss key. Oh, wait. Oop. Okay. You requested that just in time. No, I said pause. Not reset. Okay. Pandora's Palace. From Rabbi. Ribby. Hmm. Okay. That is an. Uh. <clears throat> interesting cover. Now, okay, is there a version that's not one minute or ten hours? Like, is, is there is there a middle ground, please? Nope, there's no middle ground. Okay, well, <laughs> then we're getting, like, the one minute version. Middle ground, five hours. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe like a three minute version. Damn, this is a grooving song though. I could do without the anime bunny girls on the cover, but this is fine too. <laughs> oh boy! I can carry more seeds. This actually, yeah, really fits the Spirit Temple. Alright, here's my compromise. I'm going to set this to... okay. It doesn't let me pause the game when I'm exited out of the window, so the Lizalfos is just like, Haha! Free hits! <laughs> oh yes, I would love to get free hits on, uh, on Sir Link. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not turning random text on ever again. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that was interesting. Alright, just two more s gold tokens. I did get the pots in Dampe's Grave, yes. Dampe's Grave was interesting to explore. I get another token! And 20 bucks. Alright, well, unfortunately, this is where the Spirit Temple Trail ends. Cold. Move, Link! Get down there! With your bad self. That's the noise that I think of when I think of Navi. I wonder if I can light the torches here. Master Quest Water Temple is interesting because like half the dungeon is just barred off and you can't even reach. Which is not not an improvement, I don't think. Some people think it's an improvement. I I, I disagree. Okay, well, that's it for Spirit Temple. I forget where the entrance to Death Mountain Crater is, but I would love to go there as an adult. I'm not sure if I can, though. Oh, okay, hang on, no, 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 no. I know where we're actually going next. We're going to the potion shop. Part of Master Quest Water Temple that made me stuck was there was a part where you had to light torches on the ceiling. And by that I mean that was like every room in the dungeon. They literally had, like, one puzzle, and were just like, well, this is it! It's the perfect puzzle! We don't need any more!
Oh no, you were not there two seconds ago. I also should give the Big Po to Big Po Man. The torch hitboxes that are out of bounds, exactly! Such good design. Man, I... I can't even remember the last time I genuinely went hunting for big pose. I only did it once because I'm like, this is not worth it. But I might need them, so... Here we go. Really, Epona? I can't go over that fence. You were going at max speed, but it's like on a 10 degree incline. Stuff it, Epona. Don't make me replace you with a different horse. Pod sanity is a lot. It is! Oh, hey, he's selling a compass. Don't you want some magic beans? You found the Ocarina of Time! Okay, so that's just a regular old Deku stick. Alright, at least I guess I can see where... Oh boy, the Deku tree is another spiritual stone. Oh wait, I already knew that. Fire Temple's a spiritual stone, so is that. Spirit Temple's a light. Water Temple is... It's not telling me anything new! Do I have to step out of the room in order to... F I don't know if I found the Winter Heart piece, because it randomizes the text when I pick it up. I have gotten the Winner text several times, but I don't know about the uh, Winter Heart piece. Corridors of Time has been added to the salt queue. I forgot to plant the magic bean again, but it's okay, we have the long shot. Aquatic Ruin is such a good song. Not a fan of the zone, but the song's amazing. I'm so glad I got five dollars. Curse you, Zelda! Curse you, sages! Okay, hang on. Guys, I have an idea. So I know... I went into this grave and there were the cobwebs everywhere, and I, I understand that. But... The cow is decently close by. If I play opponent's song, will that milk the cow? It won't. Okay. Well, we tried. Well, Jeb, you tried. Okay, Corridors of Time. From Chrono Trigger. Also, while we are here... Fittingly enough, the ghost shop is located in the graveyard. Hey, bro, here you go. Darn it, so he wants more. What a greedy man. The worst part is I can't even get hints on where to go next. 
because the hints are also randomized across different areas. <sighs> Pooh, I'm afraid there's only one fiend left for me to do. So that leads to Zora's Fountain. We've already done everything over there. There is a gold sculptula in here that only appears as an adult and only appears at night, even though it's an indoors area. And he's up there. Man, gold sculptures are annoying. <laughs> Second RPG you played. I have never played Chrono Trigger. Maybe that'll be something I could play in the future. I had to make it special because it's a. It was 200 followers on Twitch. I wanted to do something that I normally wouldn't do. Which I would normally do Ocarina of Time Randomizer. I would not normally do Max Random Settings. I thought it was fitting. I will probably not do it again unless it's another subscriber special. <laughs> One thing I've heard about Chrono Trigger is that you can literally fight the final boss like pretty much immediately if you want. Cookie Run OST. <laughs> well, thank you. And Merry Christmas, DX. I will add Cookie Rush... Or Cookie Run? Is that a song? Or is that a game? I just want to make sure that I play the correct song. Or is it a, hey, you can pick any song from this soundtrack that you want? I ask because we are about to end Corridors of Time. Hey, thank you! Cookie Run... Cookie Run Kingdom. I'm gonna look... Oh my gosh, there's 208 songs here! Is there a specific song you want, DX? Or... Oh my gosh. There's so much. Okay, that's the extended playlist. I don't... I don't want the extended. That's also the extended playlist. I don't want 15-minute versions of the Psalms. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to look through here, and if I see one that looks cool... Oh, Cookie Run is the specific one? Oh, oh, it's called We Wish You a Merry Cri Okay. I, f I thought you were specifically wishing me a Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, no, I'm stupid. Here we go. <laughs> Never mind. Forgive my stupidity. <laughs> Aww. Unfortunately, I don't have a way for people on YouTube to request the OSTs. Because channel points don't exist for YouTube. And I... Like, the only way to really do that would be, like, if you super chat me, then... But I don't want to do that. I do not want it to be, like, a, if you pay me, I'll do... No, no, no. Arty bucks are free. Yes, it's time for Epona's horseback brawl. That's not the right song! Okay, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. No, I, I don't I don't like 
I don't like that. If I can find a way to have Artie Bucks work for YouTube as well, I will. Oh, that was such a nice... You know what? I'm going to loop that one more time. So that way we can wish you a Merry Christmas. I am Azora. You are not Azora, Malon! So I always lose this at, we at least one time due to something really stupid, like I phone a being like, I don't want to jump over that fence even though I'm going at max speed. Yeah, here. You have to use a carrot in between each of those gates, otherwise opponent will just be, I'm not doing it. And all of a sudden, we're playing Star Fox Adventures. And that is not a compliment. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You had to sing Christmas songs at your party, really. I'm sorry. Whew! Just barely made it. All right. Oh, boy! <laughs> I do it for you, Malon, and nobody else. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, it, I guess it would depend on the Christmas songs. Because there are some Christmas songs that I would not mind singing. But also those would probably be the Christmas songs that are like, um, we only allow secular Christmas songs here. I'm like, it's Christmas. Like, with Christ is literally in the name, but okay. You don't want me to sing O Come O Come Emmanuel? Fine. <laughs> then I'm not singing. <laughs> it's okay. I, un I, I The song is over, Nintendo Addict. <laughs> now you get to hear the really quiet 1pm Animal Crossing GameCube music. We are kind of running out of spots to check. Oh, you requested a song as well? You did! Oh, you rest requested the Goron race. Oh, hey girl. Hey girl. I I wasn't breaking pots. <laughs> Thank you, Merry Christmas, DX. Thanks for joining in. <laughs> Bring us the figgy party. <laughs> Hi, I would like a Zora tunic. You don't... <laughs> there was no price listed. That means it's free. <laughs> Seriously, what kind of people will come to your door, insult you in song form, and then refuse to leave unless you bring them a dish that hasn't been prepared since the 13th century? <laughs> One of Doofenshmirtz's best lines. I think it was the power of Christ that allowed us to win the obstacle course that easily. <laughs> I can think of no other reason. Hey, Epona. I guess we can hunt for more big pose. I don't even remember where all the big pose are. So we already nabbed that one. I literally don't remember where most of the big pose are, so this will be terrible. I remember where the really annoying ones that I don't want to hunt for are. Okay, Goron race. Yay, this is definitely not going to bring up any post-traumatic stress.
What the heck? He, he... <laughs> it's nothing better than playing a rando while watching a rando. Nothing. Nope, Forest Temple is not available as an adult because there's a rock in the way of the well. I always forget there are boulders rolling through the river as an adult. That's very strange. Maybe the rando removed the rock? I will check after I claim my prize. I think just most of the Force Temple is out of reach of us outside of, uh... There's the cow. Yes, it's nice to see you too, Bessie. That's impressive. That is, yeah, that's definitely longer than what I've spent in my... Oh, yes! We now have 50 Sculptula tokens. I think my most played game on Steam is still Clonade, but just bare... Actually, no. No, it's Cuphead. Cuphead officially surpassed Clonade after the DLC was released. Uh, yes, this is Forest Interlude from DK Country 2. But it's a, a re remaster of it. Yeah, I think Cuphead I have like 130 hours put into. Clonade was like 110 or 120. Amazing game, by the way. Out of all out of all of the games that I have streamed, Clonade is definitely one of my favorites. Very glad I decided to play it on a whim. Hey, Vita! Welcome! Alright, let's see if the rock was removed. Oh, you guys are right! The rock was removed! <laughs> Game on with John Shaddy. It's a good thing you didn't listen to me. <laughs> in the vanilla game, there is most certainly a rock in front of the... Uh, well. Forest of Hope has been added to the queue. Okay, I can't remember the song of time, even though that was, like, the first song I got. Oh, that's right. I would have liked the Master Quest dungeons a bit more if they had been a little more creative with them. Like, one of the reasons why I actually really like, I like the Spirit Temple Master Quest is because you do something different where you, like, hookshot up the normal shortcut going there the first time, which is cool. And, like, it would have been so cool if, like, in this room there was a way that you get up on the platform that rises up to the bow room. Where, like, normally you could fall down here from the bow room. But in Master Quest, if you could, but that's how you went up. That would have been such a cool addition. But, nope. Instead, we get Silent of the Song of Time blocks. The process today is, uh... Still grinding. But I don't need any more Sculptula tokens. Wow, a fairy was in that one normally. Doo -doo -doo. 
Well, or like, what if in the Master Quest Force Temple you went up this way first instead? That would have been really cool. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> Not that I'm embittered or anything. Man, I sure would love to get one of the free wallet upgrades, but no. No. You don't really need that. It's okay, the shops don't have anything good. <laughs> I found the spirit temple in a chest. Yes, yep, mm-hmm. This is the dungeon that has the annoying Psalm of Time block puzzle. Oh, hey! Yay, twenty dollars. Give me that stick. I mean, this room's pretty evil in the Master Quest as well. I think it's like, just gotta play the Song of Time a lot. Isn't that a fun puzzle? Just continue to play the Song of Time over and over again? Isn't that fun? No. No, it's not. Oh, well, I think it is. <laughs> but then again, with hover boots and long shot, I think we can cheese this room. I love hover boot cheese. <gasps> Just the fire arrows! All we gotta do is find a way to get up there. Alright, let's deal with you first. If that's an ice trap, I will be very sad. Okay. If we want to get the fire arrows... We're gonna have to go up towards the uh, blue po room. Oh, also, there are all these pots in this room that I didn't even check. Pot sanity's messing me up. Oh, wow, I forgot about you. But you won't forget about me. With hover boots, we should be able to get for this room pretty easy. This is nice Pikmin music, but I don't know, the Pikmin 2 boss music. Oh no, too much. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I hate you. I guess we're doing the full puzzle. <laughs> hey, Dreamfinder, welcome. We're just about to enter go mode because I've seen the fire or the fire arrows that we need. However, Master Quest Forest Temple is something that's fairly unfamiliar to me, so. Boop, 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 boop. 
Whoops. We got a good crowd tonight. Uh, the, re the regular boss music. The one that plays more frequently. Okay, this, this block puzzle's kind of creative for the Master Quest, where they have extra blocks you need to pull away. Like, that's that's kind of cool. I'll give you that one, Master... Give you that one, Master Quest. Song of Time puzzle? Not very good, though. Oh. Don't break your back, Link. <laughs> oh, that's right, you get the shortcut up. I love that. See, when Master Quest does cool stuff like that, it's great. I hate to be a broken record, but, I mean... Okay, I don't know what I just hit there, but... I guess I hit something. I finally got Furore's Wind! Too bad it's too late for me to get any real use out of that. Oh no, Hulk Hands! Oh no, I have to beat Hulk Hands. Please don't be an ice trap. It's not an ice trap. There we go! Yes! Go mode activate! Alright. That's not it. If you want to request something for Ganon's castle, you better get on that. No Fire Temple, no Dodongo, no Deku Tree. Correct. For those of you who aren't... For those of you who don't... Uh, weren't around for this, you're going to love this. In order to reach Ganon's castle, you have to take this Magic Bean platform. Because it's the only way on the bridge. Because both of these bridge entrances lead into Goron City. And there's no other way into Goron City. Now we just gotta hope we don't run out of magic. Oh! Dream Finder just requested a song. Alright, you got it in just in time. Restoring the light. From Ori and the Blind Forest. Oh yeah, I've heard about that game. I've heard it's very good. <laughs> One thing I've noticed, twi uh, stream chat, great taste in music. Well, Metroidvania games can be fun. Clearly, because I played Hollow Knight for half the year. <laughs> okay, now, I don't know for sure. There is a chance that there's a rusted switch somewhere in the forest stage that I forgot about, but I don't think so. Oh, yuck! Why are there so many Beemos? Yuck, okay. Yuck. 
You said it, Arno. Oh, that's one of those big... Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right! There are two different sizes of Beemos. I literally never knew that. How did I never know that? Alright. <laughs> the music... Oh my... Wait. Did we not actually need fire arrows? Could we have finished this seed yes last Mondays? Do we really just need to kill the Bemoses? Song of Time again. Wait, I didn't I play that? No, not quite. I made it more complicated. I don't know what that switch does either, but I'm not gonna bother finding out. Wow, we we so we could have we could have beaten this game this seed last stream. I do not want to activate Master Quest stuff again. So I think there's a crate on top of that. Okay, Navi was right there. Why is the Song of Time not working? This is why I don't like the Song of Time blocks. They're so finicky. It's like, you play the Song of Time? Well, they might move. Maybe. You have to be on the pillar in front of the fan. Are you are you serious? That's literally the last place I want to be. Cuz I will get freaking blown off. I guess I'll have to wear the iron boot. Oh, you sneak. You sneak. I see that. This is the other thing. Master Quest just hiding dumb stuff. Oh, that's just another chest that I inevitably don't need. I can do fan puzzles without the iron boots, but it's a lot more risky. That's okay, we get to hear Crook's March for a little bit more. Alright, iron boots. Final Fantasy IX Jesters of the Moon has been added to the queue. If you guys want to play another song tonight, you better get those in. Yeah, see that Armo statue? And now, if we play it again, I believe the Armo statue will fall all the way down. Yep. Not a fan of that. Master Quest is weird, man. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have enough killer in okay. Winner! I got a heart piece. There we go, last barrier down. I'm gonna go back and see what's what was in that chest though. It's a really short walk. And I'm curious. What will be in the Ganon's Castle boss key chest, folks? I think it'll be Zelda's lullaby. 
Realistically, it'll probably just be $5, but... It would be fitting if it was Zelda's Lullaby. I can't believe I didn't actually need Ice Arrows. Or Ice Arrows. Well, it's true, I don't need Ice Arrows. Okay, so this was... Jesters of the... Oh, hey, that's the first thing that came... I typed in Jesters. Green Rupee. That's that's probably the more realistic guess. I don't think this gets randomized at all. I think the fights are the same. Guys, can you believe that the giant's knife is actually going to be neat and useful? We're actually going to use it for the Ganon fight. Because we don't have the Goron Sword or the Megaton here. Get out of here. I just hope we don't run out of magic for the Ganondorf fight. Bombs also work on the tail. Still gonna use Giant's Knife. I love how the Stalfos is wear designer pants that are ripped. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> Five bucks. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be Ganondorf cursing Zelda one last time. Oh, that's true. The pots in Ganondorf's room. Those are randomized too. Okay. Oh, oh. This will. Here we can get a better view at the inside of their face. I want to see their eyes. Eh, eh. Okay, no, never mind. It's not going to work. Okay, I do not want you walking into the upper. You're not supposed to do that. You're just supposed to sit there and take it. Yeah, take that. You are such a clown. I know this way is less safe, but it's got more swag. And after it all, isn't that what the Ocarina of Time randomizer is all about? Swag. <laughs> He's like, stop being cheap. <laughs> Come on, what else are you going to do with Armonites? All right. Zero two from Kirby. I actually think I have this in my playlist as well. He's hiding two hundred dollars here. I haven't even been keeping track of all the stuff I've been picking up because I can't see what it is before I pick it up, and the text doesn't tell me. I may have even lost track of how many of the uh, Skulltula tokens I have. We never did check the 50 Skulltula's reward, no. Could have been interesting. 
Oh, wait, wait, when did we get the Serenade of Water? Also, I missed a Skulltula token somewhere. When did we get the Serenade of Water? Must have been in one of those pots. I'll have to look that up later. Also, folks, uh... If you want to request a final boss song... You, you better do it now. Oh, wait, we got double magic? When did we get double magic? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be really nice. We got Serenade of Water a while ago? Really? I don't remember that. Because I don't think Zero Two is gonna play throughout the entire final boss, especially if we don't have Big Goron Sword, so... Alright. What are you gonna say, Ganondorf? <laughs> Alright, Dire Fox requested it. Armed Armadillo. That lady takes care of chickens, but she is, in fact, allergic to them. Oh, well. Grrr! I'll never forget that day. <laughs> what happened on that day? Seven years ago! Grrr! <laughs> it's that stupid ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. <laughs> that was the perfect dialogue it could have randomized into. <laughs> With that key, go into the room ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? That made the text brando worth it. I, f I think we're out of time for song requests, because we just got a second one for Armed Armadillo. Alright, let's see how a bunch of a butt Gandorf's gonna be. Alright. I love quick hover boots. Yeah, the, that, the random dialogue is funny. When it works well. Link, that- what the heck, Link? He wouldn't even power crouch stab. What the heck? Yes! Wait, no. Here we go! <laughs> yes, Ganon. No, my sword. <laughs> she means business now. Yeah, we did not even come close to running out of magic. How wonderful. Hey, big boy. It's okay. I've got a broken sword with your name on it. Never thought I'd be happy to have the giant's knife. Wow, yes! Who needs light arrows? Who needs light arrows when you can just roll between his legs? Eh, eh. And the giant's knife does still pack a punch. Green around the rosy, pockets full of posy, ashes, ashes, will be you in five minutes. <laughs> oh no, he actually hit me. Oh, 
All right. You know, Mobius, just for you. Cannon. Wow, he's actually kicking my butt a little bit here. I also love how like this this fight always lags when I play on emulator. <laughs> Mobius didn't even have to pay the arty bucks for that. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm feeling generous today, so. <laughs> Oh, this is the same version of the song I used for art lens. For my giant organ level. Well, if it's copyrighted, it's the end of the stream anyway, so. I don't I don't think Bach is alive to dispute the copyright claims. <laughs> There's the forest medallion. <laughs> I didn't get a single I did not beat a single dungeon! I did not beat a single dungeon. Other than Ganon's castle. Actually, no, wait, I beat Water Temple. Didn't I? Wait, hang on, no. Oh, no, I didn't beat Water Temple because the boss was Barnade and I couldn't fight him as an adult. No, I literally never beat a dungeon. That's the power of the that's the power of randomizing where Ganon's castle can be. <laughs> Normally that's not possible, Mobius. But with entrance randomizer and Ganon's castle being able to be in any dungeon, that's why I was able to do it. Have you got any complaints? Speak up, then. <laughs> Come on, be brave! Let's go to the Deku Tree for a rematch! Please believe me, my prophecies have never been wrong! <laughs> Why aren't you believing me? Deku Nuts! Ten pieces for 40 rupees! You can only buy the new action! Please don't seal me in the sacred realm! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Gandor's real desperate. He's like trying to pawn off his his trail mix on us. <laughs> oh, what's Zelda gonna say at the end? <laughs> oh wow, it's Keaton! Hi Keaton! My name is Link! Quiet! How dare you! <laughs> I tampy the gravekeeper in bed now! <laughs> Go away and play! Maybe you can find a ghost in the daytime? Zelda! Are you tripping right now? If you want to rescue Zelda, come to- What?! Wait! You're not real- You're not- Oh man, this just took a turn! <laughs> She's not the real Zelda, she's threatening us. This is so good! <laughs> I should, I should not have drank water just then. <laughs> I actually spit the water out because <laughs> I saw what you said. Princess Zelda, you foolish trainer! Who's saying that? <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. <laughs> this whole adventure was just us using time travel to avoid ever having to see Zelda. We never actually met her in the castle. And now, she... <laughs> oh my gosh. 
This is the best! <laughs> hey, that's a cool mask! I want it! Just kidding! <laughs> I don't want that stupid... <laughs> Did we just get quasimodo <laughs> By the way, nice mask! I'm not wearing a mask! <laughs> oh... I love the ocarina! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm ill. <laughs> what the? Ocarina we gave her and creepily staring at us. Well, go ahead, some. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I was just not expecting that, and I laughed real hard. And I probably am going to have a cough tomorrow just because of that. You are so handsome. <laughs> just like the king of Hyrule. <laughs> That's your dad, Zelda! <laughs> That's kind of weird! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zelda, you're really creeping me out. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I don't want. To... <laughs> I... I don't want. I don't want to be with her. <laughs> this is why we actually go on Majora's Mask. We're creeped out by Zelda that we go back in time just to avoid her. <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> Uh, so the line, you are so handsome, just- The light barrier is dispelled! Hurry! <laughs> you're a little late, Mentionia. The, you're so handsome, just like the King of Hyrule line, that comes from Honey and Darling in the market at night, where they're calling each other, like, sickeningly sweet names. <laughs> wow, okay, you know what? I take it back. That made the all of the terrible stuff in Text Rando, it was all worth it for that. 100%. I have not laughed that hard in a long time. That oh man, that that was worth it. Text rando was worth it. I can't believe it. Credits are not randomized. I do not think. No. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's head over. I think it was under downloads. Oh, uh, was it this one? Did I make it on the fifth? Yeah, okay. This is probably going to be a complicated spoiler log because of all the stuff that was randomized. Let's just see where all of the, like, important stuff we didn't find is. Okay, so how about the Kokiri sword? Um... That's not it. Okay, no. Kokiri sword. Sword! The Kokiri sword was in the forest temple. Uh, in the bow room. In one of the pots. Okay. How about the Zora tunic? That we never actually found. So we could buy one. We also got one from... What is DMC? Was that a shop we never went to? I do, yeah, I read the JSON if with notepad. So it's probably not the ideal way, but... <laughs> it's a living. 
Death Mountain Crater. Oh, well, I couldn't get to Death Mountain Crater as an adult, so... Alright. So that was... Oh, Ice Arrows. Obviously, that's important. Ice Arrows were not in. They were not even randomized. You literally couldn't find Ice Arrows anywhere. They just weren't in it. Megaton Hammer was in the Spirit Temple, the Statue Room Northeast Chest. Okay, so we almost got it. Oh, Stone of Agony. We gotta know where the Stone of Agony is. Stone of Agony was in the Shadow Temple, uh, in one of the Flying Pots after the Wind Room. Okay. Zelda's level by. Zelda's Lullaby was in the Water Temple. Uh, Central Bow Target, pot number one. So it was in a pot. In a place that we never went to. Cool. How about Saria's Song? Saria's Song was... in Ganon's Castle, in the Spirit Trial. And we never went there because it... we didn't need to. Uh, let's see. Minuet of Fortress... The Minuet of Fortress. Minuet of Forest was in... Oh, it was... In, it was... in the Cow Grotto. With the cobwebs, I believe. HFGS. HF is... Hy yeah, Hyrule... Oh! Yeah, it was, so it was the Hyrule Field cobweb area. Behind the cobwebs, it was uh, in there. Cool. The Minuet of Fortress. How about Nocturne of Shadow? Nocturne of Shadow was in the Fire Temple. It was the chest on fire. Cool. Uh, oh, how about the wallet upgrades? Okay, one wallet was in the Forest Temple. It was the Frozen Eye Switch Room in a small wooden crate. There was another one... No, that was the same one. There was one in Death Mountain Crater. In the Bean Patch, we literally could not reach it. And then there was one in Death Mountain Crater in a place we couldn't reach. So two of the wallets were literally in an unreachable location. Great. Awesome. How about the extra bottles? Uh, one was in the Shadow Temple near the boss in one of the pots. <laughs> the Market Guardhouse 27. That We already got that. We already got that one. Oh! The Kakariko Bazaar was selling a bottled bug, but it didn't look like it. Okay, so I could have gotten a third bottle somewhere along the way. How about... The Weird Egg? Weird Egg was if we defeated Barnaid, so we literally could not have gotten it. How about the Claim Check? Okay, how about the Pocket Cuckoo? Oh, I don't even know where the Adult Trading Quest started, because I randomized that as well. Okay, but last... Last but not least, folks, where was Din's Fire? Oh, wait, no, no, go back, go back, go back. I, th I saw it. Din's Fire was... Oh, my... Are you kidding me? Guys, Din's Fire was also in the Spirit Trial of Ganon's Castle. So if we'd just gone to the Spirit Trial and gone through the whole thing, we would have found it. Not that we needed it! Well... Oh, oh wait, yeah, you're right. Big Goron Sword. Forgot about that. Yes, we should look that up, too. Big Goron Sword... Was in Dodongo's Cavern. 
pot number one in the double eye switch room. Never went to Dodongo's Cavern. Hmm. Well, all right. Well, that was certainly an experience. I gotta say, I enjoyed that more than I thought. I would probably not do max random settings <laughs> again anytime soon. But it was great talking with everyone in chat. It was great listening to all the music. And, hey, this was certainly memorable. And it was all worth it for that super creepy dialogue from Zelda at the end. Wow. I, <laughs> I'm i definitely, definitely making that a Twitch highlight. That was hysterical. <laughs> that was... Oh, man. That... Out of all... Out of all of the Ocarina of Time randomizers I've done, that was probably my favorite moment from all of them. <laughs> was Creepy Zelda <laughs> at the end. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> all right, yeah. I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all for joining in. This was a lot of fun. Uh, so only three more streams left of the year I'm planning on. One this Saturday, and then two more on Monday and Wednesday of next week. I think I'm going to do a Majora's Mask randomizer seed, one more to kind of round the year off, and I might do a lot of randomizing stuff there as well to prolong it. We'll just, we'll see. We'll play it by a year, but that's going to be fun, so <laughs> definitely join in for that. It'll be another custom music randomizer too, so get them arty bucks, and you can redeem them to uh, request songs. So thanks for joining in, everybody. It was great chatting with you all. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.